this episode had quite a few technical difficulties. We had issues with uh, the program that we used to record the videos, as well as there were some connectivity and Wi-Fi issues. So we got going a little bit and it just, it didn't really work out. So we kind of had to restart again from Facebook Live. So if you're watching the uh, video, that's what happens right after this. And if you're listening to the audio, um, we cleaned it up a little bit, but hopefully it still sounds pretty good. Um, it was still really cool to uh, talk to and, you know, we didn't quite have the momentum we had at the beginning, but it was still really great and hope you guys enjoy. Keep calm. It's just a snake podcast season two. Uh, after a very, very long hiatus from last season, last year, uh, took a heck of a lot going uh, to get started up again. And we have a really awesome guest with us today. This is Sean Jones of Yo-Yo Reptiles out of Waco, Texas. Yo, yo. Um, one of the very one of the many people I've reached out to, but uh, the only person to actually say like, "Hey, we still doing this?" So, how you doing? How you doing, Sean? Uh, I'm all good. Nice. Excuse me. Yeah, I'm I'm all good, man. Yep. Ready to roll. Cool. Yeah. So, apologies again. We had a lot of technical technical difficulties with the first part of this. Now I'm getting tongue tied. So but many. it, it, it so, felt like felt like we. It felt like it was like an hour that we tried to. I think it was, the... we got close to about 45-ish minutes. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was interesting. I think we only got through to like three questions. I know, it was bad. It was bad. <laughs> a lot of starting and stopping. So, uh, the owner, proprietor, founder of Yo-Yo Reptiles, Waco, Texas. So, tell us a little bit of uh, kind of your background, how you got started with just kind of all of this. Because honestly, it's been like meteoric. It's crazy. Yeah. So, so pretty much... Um... Um, Sean Jones, 28, I'll be 29, April 1st, April Fool's baby. Um, and, and I used to get cracked on a lot in school about my birthday, April 1st, April right. Fool's. Um, yeah, I'm the owner of YOX2 Reptiles, Yo-Yo Reptiles, uh, Yox2 Reptiles, however you want to say it. Uh, <laughs> all, it's all the same. Um. And I mean, shoot, <laughs> that's that's let's do it. Cool. So you, uh, so when did you very first like? What's what's when did you get your first reptile? What really got you going into it? So back in April um, of 2020, actually, when COVID first happened um, and everything was shut down, uh, I just had money and I couldn't go and spend it at bars or go right and, you know just hang out you know what i'm saying with everybody since everything was shut down i was like okay I, I need something else to do to occupy my time so you know with all that money saved i was just like all right i'm about to go and buy a snake so i bought a snake from pet smart and she became my best friend no and then um but she was she but i didn't know that she was going to be a part of she was going to be an investment to getting started all of this. Um, and after that, yeah, I just started looking at all these different YouTubers, uh, Brian Barshak uh, and like Justin Kaboka, uh, a whole bunch of people then stumbled across the, the bro group on Facebook. Um, met a whole bunch of people there. Yep. Uh, I mean, after that first ball python, I mean, it was just like, come on, let's get another one. Let's get another one. Yep. You know, I mean, that bug biting you. Yeah, and it bit hard. Like, <laughs> really hard. <laughs> and, yeah, I just met a lot of people, man. I mean, just throughout that, that one, the rest of that year, from April to the rest of that year, it was like it, everything was just moving like this. Because I was researching so I never researched something like like that in my life before. Oh, gee. Like for real, man. Like when I got that first ball python, and then started looking up how to hold your ball python, how many times should you take it out the tank, and you know all the beginner questions. Right. To now me telling people. You can take your ball python out. Don't be afraid to pick it up. Don't you know? <laughs> let it let the food that give it forty eight hours for the food to digest. You know what I mean and stuff like that. So now I'm 
I'm I'm telling people everything that I research right pretty much now. So people are coming to me for the things that I research now. It's crazy how quickly that that turns around, huh? Yeah, it changed. It it, it turned like really, really, really quick. One, so two, one, one second. Uh, one second. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, this will be. This was going to be a fun one again. Um, at the very beginning, before we really got started, we tried this before on another one, and just so many technical difficulties. So hopefully this will be going again. Uh, it'll it'll be a little bit better too. So now I'm just going to sit here and vamp for a minute. But it's been a crazy year, and in just a second, as soon as he gets back, I'm going to like how quickly he's accomplished as much as he has is insane. I'm going to get into that as soon as he's back. Like it's, it's very envious to say the least of, of how much drive he's had to do this. It's absolutely super, super, super crazy. Um, turn it up or whatever. Hey, we're back. You good? My bad. My bad. No, you're my fine. Family. Yeah. My family is, is here. Totally fine. So, yeah, so good, good thing. Good thing they can stay uh, out on the sales floor and watch uh, YouTube until nice. I'm done. <laughs> so just kind of vamp it a little bit. Um, so like you're really, really, really present on a lot of social media on, on Facebook, on Instagram and stuff. And I think TikTok too, right? Uh-huh. So TikTok, Facebook, um, Instagram. Yeah, just those main three, really. Yeah. But it's it's crazy how how big you blew up and how quickly you managed to do this all. So you you have gotten your own you own your own reptile store in Waco, Texas, correct? Right. And you got your first snake in 2020. So that is super fast. That's insane. Yeah, th yeah, that was a huge jump. So like, like, take us through the process. Like that's crazy. Okay, so. So 2020, eight in April, I got my first snake. And then shortly after that, I started researching the expos. And mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, started going to expos. Um, and then it was just like, all these animals, I, I need, <laughs> I'm like, how are y'all doing this? You know, I, I know people got up the job, you know, nine to fives and stuff which mm -hmm. I had at the time too I still had my bread and butter but I was like it's got to be a way um it's got to be a way around working just this one job I mean right. this job and doing reptile I'm like this has I have to make this like the that thing you know what I mean it, it, mm -hmm. Through that whole process, I just, I, I don't know, I just figured it out. You know what I mean? It's just like, right. every, like I said, I was learning as I was going. You know what I mean? Like, I was, everything was hands on. So I was just learning. Um, I mean, of course, you know, when I first started shipping out reptiles, um, I didn't know that it was, you were supposed to get those insulated boxes. So I did have a few trial and errors. Yeah, so, it's it's a learning curve for everybody and everything yeah. to do. Yeah, and it was you know uh, it definitely a, a hard that was hard for me too because I was like dang I don't want that to happen again you know what I mean I don't, I don't like the DOAs so I was just and these were the I think the DOAs came from like iguanas like when I got iguanas in um, but of course I reimbursed those people um, and let them know that this is my first time doing this, you know what I mean? And stuff like that. So, and those people actually reached back out to me recently because they, they just was checking back in on the company and they seen where it's going. They was, they was like super proud. So, um, but yeah, that like learning how to ship a pack, ship a reptile was probably like one of the hardest things I had to learn actually. More so than opening an actual like brick and mortar store, that's crazy. Yeah, because I want to say only, only, only because um, 
your anxiety. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you got to know how to put that paper in there, right? right. You got uh, where to put the the heat, um, the heat pack, how to wrap that up. You know what I'm saying? So it won't burn the animal. All, it's a whole bunch of things. Mm-hmm. So, and then just in that 24 hours, it's like, dang, I hope it make it. I hope nothing happens to it. Just all of that's going through my head until the person tells me, oh, yeah, I got it. You know what I mean? Um, he's nice right. and safe. And then it's a big old relief. It's like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So um, we had opening up the brick and mortar store. That was the easy part. I mean, anybody can take some money and bet on themselves and try to make it happen. But it's like, you got to you got to do it though. You got to put the work in. You can't even mm-hmm. expect, can't expect to, um, like for it to just be straight. Oh yeah. As soon as I open up this store, it's going to hit. You know what I mean? Oh, it's going to, everybody mm-hmm. will come to my store. Cause that's not going to happen. You got so, to, people, people got to trust you. Like, right. comes, a lot of trust. You got to build up a lot of trust and a lot of, your 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 rep has to be built up for people to actually come to the store and purchase an animal, True. knowing that it's healthy and everything. They can take it home, and it won't die the next day. Yep, exactly. And although you still did that pretty quick, like uh, so you you got your first one in 2020. It's now March 2022 from okay. a different state. <laughs> yeah, so okay, so April <laughs> April April twenty twenty, I got the first snake. And then August twenty twenty, uh, I got to Texas. Mm-hmm. And I said I was gonna open up a clothing store because I didn't think that reptiles was gonna take off as fast as it did. So I was still on oh, I'm doing this clothing. And then come January twenty twenty one. I got the keys to my first store. So this and is now this is now your second store. Uh, technically, Tech- because <laughs> the first the first store was like the size of this office right here. Okay, and it was a really it was it was like one of those one of those it was a suite inside of an office mm-hmm. building. You know what right. I'm saying? So that so now this is a standalone building, its own parking lot and everything. So cool. Um, I got into that first one in Feb at the end of January, and then moved out of there in June. And from June to now, I've been I've been building up this store, and it's going crazy well, right? Yeah, I've had I've had some some downers, you know what I mean? But mm-hmm. it 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 hasn't been all it, it- rainbows. Yeah, it's never all sunshine and daisies. It's there's yeah, there's always and I think, and I, and I think I've, I've I've shown that also. Like I don't post everything that's like and make try to make it seem like it's so easy or. Mm-hmm. I mean, I may I may make it look easy, but it's definitely <laughs> still it's it's still hard though. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I know I can make it look easy and fun sometimes, but it's 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 a lot of hard work and tears and blood and sweat, all that behind it. It's true. It's it's a lot. It's just yeah. it's 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 cool to see someone who took that passion so fast and turned it into something so tangible so quickly and so successfully. And obviously, yeah, there's a lot of hard work and everything that goes into that. Oh hey, there's a alert for the Zoom meeting. Um but I know a lot of people, myself included, go a different direction. Sometimes they go to, oh, I want to breed, and that's how I'll make my mark. Or YouTube videos, that's how I'll make my mark. Or things like that. It's it's really interesting how you took that route and then are starting to expand upon it. Mm-hmm. So I don't like doing things that um, I see a lot of people do. Mm-hmm. And that also is something that made me um, dip into the reptiles because I'm like, a lot of people from back home was copying my style, I felt like, you know, and I wasn't getting the recognition that I was supposed to be getting. So 
I was like, I'm going to go a whole nother route. I'm going to get into reptiles, something that I know my peers or the people that I know that's copying me, that's, that wants to be so known for making clothes. I'm going to do something that I know y'all not going to do. And let's get into reptiles. And right now, they're still trying to be the best clothing line in, in Maryland. But I mean, your I mean, your clothes are actually getting pretty successful too. Like that's actually um, some pretty high, some uh, pretty well known names are starting to rock your stuff. Yeah. So that that all comes from me learn like learning from from actually being in the clothing um, field. Cause mm -hmm. I know how to market. I know how to make stuff look nice. I know how to um, network and reach out to people and get people's attention on social media and you know what I mean I know how to reach people so has that um, been a big part of the success of yeah of yo-yo and everything you took kind of your your background and your knowledge of a different yep. but still a business industry and yep. you brought it in yep everything I've learned I put it into this like just cool. like with me working at FedEx for 10 years uh, I know how to ship a box and stuff but learning how to ship a reptile was something like totally different. So I know how the whole FedEx system works and stuff like that. So um, it was, and I mean, I know how to, like I said, I know how to talk to people. You know what I mean? And all the, the social skills is, is crazy. So it all worked perfectly. You know what I'm saying? For something that I didn't even like plan to happen. Mm hmm like just all my skills just combined like that, everything. That's really cool. And I know that, um, sorry again, we're gonna be repeating a lot of what uh, we oh, talked yeah. about before, but oh. I know you went from, uh, like in your store, you started to expand out doing reptile education shows now and yeah. doing tours of your showroom. How often are you doing that? I see, I see it a lot. So um, we started, two weeks, three weeks ago. Um, I think, where are we? We in the beginning of March. We, I think I started at the beginning of February. Yeah. Um, so we do two shows on Saturday and then one show on Sunday. Cool. So and I know um, it's, it's a little hands-on learning kind of thing, right? Yeah. And, it, and it's bringing in a lot of people. A lot of people come in during the weekday um i had a group that come came in today because uh you know i'm close to baylor the college so a lot of the baylor students come here and buy their reptiles so and some of them actually go go to the shows and um a few of them went to the show last weekend and they told them about it and the word is starting to spread at baylor and um they came in today it was a group of them and they it's like we 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 about to go on spring break. Uh, we didn't know the tours was just on the weekends, so I, I I just let them go in the back, and they you know I told them about each one of the animals, and I told them to bring all of their friends, and nice. you know, just just was trying to you know also uh, teach them um, and expand the brand, you know as well. Nice. So they'll be able to go home, tell them you know, tell their family or friends about it, come back to school, tell more people, oh, yeah, let's go to YOX to Reptiles and go to the show. Right. That's awesome. So is that kind of what you want to continue on in the future? Like, I know you're not – I know you're always doing something new and you're trying to expand and grow. So is that the direction you want to start to move towards more? Yeah, so I want to – I want I want I want to build more stores, um, like small stores though. Like I want to focus more on the sales, and this will be the only educational part. So okay. I want to be able to, like, actually have reptile stores, um, and then this may even turn into a breeding facility. I may build, buy some more of this building. Um, yeah, and just turn into a breeding facility and then uh, distribute to all my stores. You know what I mean? So it can go a lot of ways. 
Okay. It, it, it it's all it's all about how it goes here first. Okay. But I definitely do want to continue educating people. Nice. That's I like that. That's really cool. Like I, every time I every time I see a post on there, it's always you always see not just kids, but you see just people's faces just lighten up, just like with the bearded dragons and yeah. and the and everything else like that. Really, too, it's really cool to watch that. Yeah, because um, I don't want it just to be for uh, kids, because mm -hmm. there's adults that don't know nothing about these animals. That's so, true. So um, some of these adults are seeing these animals for the first time, just like the you know the children. So that's really something cool to see. It is. I. It's. It you. It doesn't really get much better, at least in my opinion. To yeah. Watch. Yeah. yeah. To watch that like hesitation and a little bit of fear turn into kind of wonder, and then really appreciation, and then eventually love, and then you're selling to your future competition. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you know, um, with especially people buying their first reptile from me is something big because they talk about it like yep. nonstop. Yeah, I, I bought my first reptile from him. I, you know, he, he got me into snakes or YLX2 uh, helped me face my fear of snakes or lizards or whatever, you know what I mean? And I get a lot of that. That's awesome. That's I do like that a lot. Do you still get a lot of the uh a lot of the first time snake wearers come messaging you and ask questions still and Yeah. Yeah, nice. they call me. I mean my line they know my line is open. I mean you just message me, I'll get to you. Um if I don't, you know, get to you, you know, before the night is out, we definitely will either call you or text you back um, you know, in the morning once we get back in the store. Nice. That's awesome. I like that. That's really cool. That's something that I don't see as much or at least like there's a big kind of like jaded part to it that after people have been doing it for a while um, even not a while too just after answering a few questions the same ones over and over again people yeah. just kind of get sick of it and that's I don't really like that a lot and so it's really cool that I that I know other people are taking the time to help continue that right I mean then it's not just me so if I am feeling like <laughs> um because sometimes I do get like that, though. Right? I mean, I'm, I tell Ty, the, my intern that's that's here working, I tell him, uh, "Hey, can you can you take this one?" You know oh, I mean? yeah. Yeah. So it's it's like somebody had to pass it on to. You know what I mean? If, <laughs> if I have to tend to something else, though. But most of the time, I, I mean, I like answering questions. That's awesome. I like that. So if you had any. I guess you could say advice to give to somebody who wants to kind of go the route you're doing that, like I see a lot of people like, I mean, that that's a lot of people's dream is to mm -hmm. open up their own reptile store. Like, is there any advice you yeah, want to give anybody? I hear that a lot. Um, yeah, a lot of people come to me and ask me for uh, advice or one of the main things is, uh, did you get a loan or how did you fund it? Mm-hmm. I didn't get any of that. I just hustled it. You know what I mean? Like, I just really grind. That's it. Like, I didn't no save bank accounts. I came to Texas like with no money. Just my animals, no money. So that's no, it, just the... No 401k, whatever you, however you call it. I, I don't have it. So we just save money. They, you know, you, you did you like just like kind of set goals for the things and then just grind on that? Yeah, so that, that's pretty much how it worked. I was like, okay, I want this. You know, even now to this day, I mean, I still don't have like loans or grants or anything. Um, but still to this day, I'm like, okay, if I want this, uh, we want to, we got to make this money here we got to sell this many bitter dragons to get this you know what i mean to get this animal to put in the display room you know what i mean so it's a it's still like something where so i mean you got to keep track of inventory still mm -hmm. you gotta 
got to make sure you 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 level up. Would you say that a lot of your day is dealing more with like the business side? Yeah. At this point. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's that's me now. Like, uh, so I'm by myself here. I think Monday through Wednesday. Ty is here Thursday through Sunday when I get help. So um, like, I be out here. I sit at the desk. Sorry, I'm distracted. Hold on, one second. One second. You're good. The. Uh beauty having people there to keeping stuff there on the I showroom floor. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. My bad, my bad. Um, so yeah, I mean, I just pretty much um, during the week, I mean, it's, it's pretty slow because, uh, you know, I still got the online base. So mm -hmm. uh, I got the the Morph Market store, so um, that pretty I I handle Morph Market during the week. Um, the store is open for feeders and stuff like that, but as far as like big sales and stuff like that, walk-in traffic. I mean, a lot of people be at work, so um, it's not that much walk-in traffic during the week. But during the weekend, come Friday, mm -hmm. like today. From today to Sunday, it's crazy. So it's like Monday through Wednesday is the most market days. And then from Thursday to Sunday, it's like the actual physical store days. Cool. That's really cool. I just, it, it's really interesting to, and, and really cool. And honestly, a little inspiring just to see somebody just like, they decided that was their goal. That's what they liked, and then they just made it happen. Yeah, um, it's, yeah. It's it's still unreal though, because it's like this wasn't like really a, a real, a real goal. It it just happened. Yep. That's still it's that's it's something to be proud of. It's really cool. It's yeah, yeah. It is. It is for sure. Yeah, I'm I'm definitely proud of it though. That's awesome. So other than, so what you're kind of thinking, hopefully for expanding the future is having kind of this facility to be more like the education outreach yeah. kind of cool place. And then other places will be moving out to be more regular, um, essentially like theater yeah. stores and yeah, things regular, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like regular pet shops. Yep. So that's, cool. that's the idea. That's like the, the vision I have, mm -hmm. but you know, in these days, it can change. Uh, you never know what I may come across. I mean, it, it can change. Uh, mm -hmm. My mind is my mind is always is always going. So, I can say I want to do make this whole thing the educational spot now. Um, and then tomorrow, I can say, let's just turn this whole thing into. Or, you know, the store, and let's build another educational spot somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it can go either way. Cool. And then I know you said you potentially down the road doing more like breeding, so that way you're going to kind of have it a little bit more like entirely self sufficient. Right. So, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, this can turn into a whole breeding facility, also. So, mm -hmm. I just never know which way I'm going to go with it. That's really cool. And then I know you definitely went the more route with uh, with reptiles and everything like that. But I know you still do like the merch for your own store and everything like that. Are you still doing anything else with clothing and or anything um, like that? No, my my brother is um, he's he does that now. Like he's heavy into it now back home. Okay. I only I have a cricket machine. That's how I started my clothing brand. I, I owned the very first cricket machine um, and a heat press. That's, those are my tools right there. Like, if yep. I want to make a shirt like this, pull out the cricket, pull out the heat press, and it's, I mean, I can do it, like, with my eyes closed. Mm -hmm. it's, to that, it's to that point now. That's really cool. 
and then do you, are you just doing a bunch of different designs just kind of for for yeah, UX for too? Times. Yeah. So uh, now now I I, I sub, substitute this O for a reptile now. Okay. So I mean, well, any animal as you you know, let me see, let me see. Um, I guess one of my hoodies. So this is a spider. That's so cool. Y O X two. You know, it's still Y O X two, but right. You know, just substitute the O for all different types of animals. That's really cool. I like that. So I can go pretty, pretty. I got uh, a wide variety that I can, you know, go with. That's really cool. I like that. So. I know, like, of all the different shows and stuff, are you ever going to think about doing, because there are a lot of shows down in Texas. Are you ever thinking about eventually setting up a booth there? Yeah, and... They actually ask me that every time I go there. They always, like, the, the people that run it, they be asking me that. They say, mm -hmm. like, when are you going to set up a, you know, when, you're, when your store will set up a, a, a table? Some of the customers even ask me that sometimes, too, like, um, yep. They always ask if I'm going to the shows, or if my store is going to be at the show. But that's going to happen when it's supposed to happen. Right. Is that something that you've thought about or would yeah. like to do, I should say? Uh, oh, yeah. I, I would love to. Like, I mean, because I came out here hitting uh, the expos, like, hard. Right. So that's really how I spread, you know, spread the word of my company when I first got out here also. Um, ever since I was doing the expos back home, I, I looked up the expos here and they had a bunch of them. So I'm like, I'm going yeah, to all of them. Yeah. So, I mean, I go, since I'm in Waco, I'll, I mean, I've I went to ones in Austin. I think the furthest one I've been to is, um, is, had to be one like close to Houston. Like I've, I've driven like three hours to go to one. I was actually going to ask, did you go to the Reptile Nation one in Houston last year? I'm sure I, I probably did. Okay. I, mean, I was just kind of curious. There's the, we, we know the guy who, who put that on and he put a lot of, a lot of money and effort into the Houston show and no one really kind of knew how it went. So I was just kind of curious okay. if you. Yeah, I, I probably did. Um, I, like, Sometimes, sometimes I, I I forget, man. Like I go there, <laughs> and because I'm always rushing back to the store, so right. it's like, um, if I go there, I'm going. It's like I know what I, I'm getting. I, I either rack up on supplies or something for the store. Okay. I mean, I don't. I I really go to the network, really. I was, I was gonna um, say, yeah, it's more for networking yeah, and meeting like, people versus actual like shopping for new little fun yeah. things. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, but if I see an animal that I could add, um, you know, like to my collection, you know, I would, I would get it, like a ball yeah. python. Like when I were, when I was breeding, if I saw a, a nice female, or, you know, male ball python, I would get it. Mm -hmm. But now it's just like I'm just going to the shows to see different people and grab supplies now. Fair enough. Yeah, that's still really cool though. Get your name out there. Mm hmm. Like, I mean, it's really good to see everybody, you know, because especially in Arlington, the NARBC one, like when people like Jacob Boker, he come out, Bob Clark, Mike Woolbanks and all of them, like they come out. Yep. It's it's, it's really fun. Like I've, I've taken pictures with all of them and they all are really cool. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. Well, I mean, I think that's about all I really got for you today. I know it was a bit of a rough start for us there at the beginning, but. Yeah, that was, that. I mean, I definitely remember that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it never I, goes I, easy. This is, this will be probably be the first. So I pre-record all of these and then I'll get like two or three lined up and I can release them on a little schedule. Okay. So people watching live, hey, you get it now, but it'll probably be a, a, a week or two. Yep. Yeah. Um, before I'll, I'll, it will release it on YouTube and then I'll throw the audio up. Um, I think on Anchor that hits okay. up Spotify and Google and, and Apple Podcasts and stuff. So you'll actually be the first one of the, of the new season. So every time oh, we, sweet. 
Yep. Yeah, and every I, time I, I set need, it up. I need the link. No, I, oh, yeah. I definitely need the link to all of those. Oh yeah, no, I'll I'll throw it up there and I always repost it to all the groups and it's gonna go up on bro and everything too. Okay. Uh, but yeah, every time we do something new, it's always a bunch of crazy technical difficulties and yeah. This day was nuts to begin with, too. So yeah, it, it was. I'll tell you about it. Especially that that FedEx package, it drove me crazy today. It was stuck in Memphis all day, and now, just an hour ago, like right before we got on right. uh, to the Zoom call, I checked it and it said it's in Austin, and then that was just my little relief. Right. It's. I was, I was, I meant when you first told me about that earlier, I was going to ask you, it's, it's weird geographically because of how FedEx hubs works. Like even if you're ordering packages from like Florida, yeah, it still has to go up to Memphis to go back down. Yeah. It's, 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 it's weird, man. It's like, it goes from, from Florida to Memphis to Austin, then Waco. Yep. Which is weird. It goes to it goes to Waco, not to Dallas, or it goes to all, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. Like I don't know how that is set up. It's just it's, it's beyond me. Yeah, I, I was just always thought that was kind of <laughs> weird. That I was like, why are people in Texas and Florida have to deal with like the Memphis shipping if it's just dirt? yeah. I don't. Know, I just always thought that was kind of weird. And uh, it was just always an interest to me. I should say, it's very weird. <laughs> Yeah. But, but man, I definitely appreciate being here, you know, and um being a part of, of all of this. Oh yeah, no, it's that's I mean, there's a million reptile podcasts out there at this point, but well, you are number two for me. So Yep. But I I always like to get people who are either doing something new, something different, mm -hmm. starting out, going kind of their a way that kind of breaks against the norm that yeah. people kind of get in the habit of. Um, people don't like change. So that's kind of what I really like. That's why, that's why you got to break those, break the borders, man. You got to break them, break them down. Yep. So that's what I like. I, well, I like to kind of like, yeah, there's the big people that I talk to a lot sometimes. And I've had a couple bigger people on the podcast, but I like talking to people who are to, that way we can kind of start to build a better community from the ground up because yeah. right now that's really what we need yeah oh yeah for sure i agree 100 percent. so cool but hey thank you again so much thank you for poking at me because i have that bad <laughs> habit of just like casting that big net and then a yeah. hundred things pop up and then i forget to follow through yeah i mean i'm that's actually how i am but with with going on uh keys constrictors um podcast yesterday it it it, it definitely put me on point yep. with um <laughs> reaching out to you <laughs> cool but i really appreciate that and thank you so much for coming on it was really cool yes sir man we gotta keep in contact bro oh yeah so any of the people watching now watching later um they want to get a hold of you where where and how can they find you um, so on Facebook, um, you can follow what well, actually everywhere is, it's the same name, Y O X two reptile store. So I'll try to make it easy for all the social medias. So all of it has the same name. You can type it in on Google. It'll bring up my morph market, Facebook, uh, Twitter, all of, it'll bring all of that up. Cool. Sweet. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you again so much. Really, really, really thank you for coming on. Hey, man, thank you for the opportunity. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, definitely. Let's be in touch, bro. Sweet. All right. Thank you again. Hope you have a good night and get ready for a crazy weekend. Uh, it's, tomorrow is crazy. I'm I'm moving some. I'm not going to tell, but I got something. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, some, I got something big coming here tomorrow. <laughs> nice. That'll be cool to see. Yeah. But there you, you know, go, guys. You know, go, you know, post it up. go follow him. Go check that out and go see what he has in store for everybody. Yeah. Cool. All right. All right, bro. Take care. All right. Later.